prisoner swap or negotiating with terrorists? Mixed reactions as former prisoner of war Bo Bergdahl recovers after five years in captivity, now on the New York Times Minute. I'd like to say to Bo right now, who's having trouble speaking English, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In Idaho, yellow ribbons and balloons decorated the streets of Bergdahl's hometown. While he'll get a hero's welcome there, renewed accusations from some fellow soldiers that Mr. Bergdahl's capture was the result of desertion five years ago. In Washington, Republicans are using the accusations to say that President Obama paid too high a price to bring him back. The question going forward. It is, is, have we just put a price on other U.S. soldiers? Congressional leaders are also raising concerns about the five Taliban members released in exchange for Mr. Bergdahl. While they are now in Qatar and will face travel restrictions for at least one year, will they again seek to attack the U.S.? These are the highest high-risk people and uh, others that we have released have gone back into the fight. And what will it all mean for the long-discussed but often delayed peace talks with the Taliban? While this deal has shown that negotiation is possible, the question going forward is what lesson the Taliban took from this success. Either one side or the other, whether going toward more political and reconciliation efforts or less, or more conflict and warfare or less.